Welcome to VBPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 17 custom validations in VBPI. Let's add one property. It's a date time and admission date. So this is the student admission date. And in my controller, when I am creating a student, I want to validate if model dot admission date is less than or equal to date time dot now okay let me put it less than only so if it is less than today's date i want to throw an error in this case we can do it in two different ways we can add the custom error to the model state directly or we can create a new validation attribute and validate it okay first way of validating it is directly adding error message to model state the second way of doing it is uh, using custom attribute using custom attribute okay first way of doing it model state dot add model error and this one is a uh, admission date error for this i'll add admission date must be greater than or equal to today's date that's the error message i have added and i am returning bad request bad request of model state this is one way of validating it let me run this one here i am mentioning yesterday's date 21st is the yesterday's date i'm executing it here we can see that admission date error we have added the key as the admission date error and the message is admission date must be greater than or equal to today's date admission date must be greater than or equal to today's date this is one way of validating it and the second way of validating it using the custom attribute uh, let's validate it using the custom attribute i'm going to comment this out so comment it and let's add the custom validation right click add a folder validators date check attribute this is my date check attribute. This will be inherited from validation attribute. So this validation attribute will be imported from this namespace system dot component model dot data annotations. This is my custom attribute. In this custom attribute, I need to override the existing is valid method protected override is valid method and it is calling the base method let me remove that this is the parameter we will get the value from the user input i want to convert that into date time so that's the value so i'm converting from object to date time and here i'm validating if date is less than date time dot today or now anything we can use then return validation result of is a new validation result new validation result of error message it must be greater than or equal to today's date that's the error message i want to return and if everything is good return validation result dot success so this is my custom validation attribute now we need to use this attribute date check attribute in our model this is my model and here i will use that date check attribute i have used it so in my controller i have commented this first way of validating it i'm running this application try it out 
I'm providing yesterday's date 21 execute and here you can see the date must be greater than or equal to today's date this is coming from the attribute and if we give tomorrow's date 21 23 is tomorrow and execute the new student got created that is how we can use the custom validations in two different ways this is the first way of validating it and second way using the attribute for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you